Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Ridge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the single crochet mesh stitch. Which you can see here in front of you, I love this stitch. It's a simple crochet stitch made with single crochets and chain stitches. Uh, it's quite versatile, it has a grid-like appearance, uh, and yet unlike uh, a stitch like the double crochet stitch, it's not very holy but you can see that it is worked quite loosely it's the same on the front and on the back so we're going to learn how to crochet this single crochet mesh uh, today I'm going to be using the paint box cotton aran yarn in a dolphin blue color as well as a five millimeter crochet hook so thank you so much for joining me while I here I invite you to take a look around uh, I post a new stitch tutorial every Sunday morning and I also have lots of free crochet patterns here as well. I'd love to hear how you use this stitch and you can put that down in the comments. I love hearing from all of you. So uh, thank you so much. Let's uh, grab our hooks and our yarn and learn how to crochet this single crochet mesh stitch. Now our pattern today is worked in rows. So you're going to start by making a slip knot. And I forgot to mention at the beginning, if you're looking for the free written tutorial for this pattern, you can find it in the description of this video. Uh, there'll be a direct link to the post on my blog. So for this uh, stitch, you're going to start by making your slip knot and then working a foundation chain. And your foundation chain can be uh, any even number of chain stitches. So you want multiples of two. Today I'm going to be uh, working a foundation chain of 20 stitches. There's 10, 15, 15 and 20. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin by working one single crochet stitch into the second chain from your hook. So single crochet into that second chain, chain one, skip the next stitch, and single crochet into the next. Chain one, skip the next chain, and single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across working your final single crochet into your final uh, uh, chain stitch in your foundation chain. At the end of row one, you've worked all the way across. You're going to then chain one and turn your work. For row two, you're going to begin by working a single crochet into that first stitch, chain one, skip the next chain one space, and single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way across, chain one, skip the next chain one space, and single crochet into the next stitch. Continue all the way across, working your final single crochet into that final single crochet stitch of your row one. At the end of row two, you can chain one and turn your work. And that's all there is to working this single crochet mesh stitch. From here on end, you're going to repeat your row two. So single crochet into that first stitch, chain one, skip the chain one space, and single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way across, chain one, and turn your work, and then continue on. Once you're done, you can fasten off and weave in your ends. And that's it for the single crochet mesh stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.